Hey sunshines, my name is Liza Jane and some of you may also know me as Liza Lux. I wanna show you how I go from this look to this look. I'm going to a 1920s gala tonight and I had to jazz myself up, so I hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. I looked at a lot of pictures online of the 1920s hairstyles, and what I wanted to replicate was curls. They all had the sweetest little curls around their heads. I envisioned having the one side pulled back, almost looking slick, so that I could focus the curls in the very back and on the other side. I've created these flower-like circles before, so all I do is I take about three locks, depending on the size of your locks, how many you want to grab, but three works best for me, and I twist them up, and then I start spinning them around themselves, pulling all the way around until I get to the end of my locks and tucking them in with their ends. This is when having wispy ends makes styling so super easy. But it doesn't end there. I am going to need pins, lots of bobby pins for this style. So make sure you at least have, I don't know, 30 to 100. Remember that everybody's locks and heads and sections are different. So just do your best to look at how I created this style and how you can adapt it to your locks. I will continue this all the way around my head towards the back. All I'm doing is gathering my locks three at a time, spinning them around themselves, tucking them into themselves, and bobby pinning them. I think you get the idea. So let's speed up this process and watch it just a little bit faster.
This is another one of those styles where you can make it as perfect as you want it to be and drive yourself absolutely insane. But go ahead and tuck in the ends the best you can. Hide your pins the best you can. Obviously, I had some still showing. Really, there was no way around it because I wanted those to stay in as much as possible. Really, the event is in the dark, so I wasn't too worried about them showing up. I, they were going to be fine. I really tried to create a cool look with my bangs, my fringe, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted. So I ended up just kind of pulling them back, tucking it away, which I think it gave it a softness towards the front. Feel free to add any extra bobby pins you'd like so you feel as secure as possible before you go out. So this is my look and I'm sure I will take more video tonight. I will try. And anyway, I hope you guys like it. I had fun with it and I hope it stays up. The bobby pins keep popping out randomly and this headband is squeezed on so tight. We'll see, we'll see how it ends up. But. As long as they make it there like this, I will be happy. Anyway, thanks for watching. But the real star of the show was my daughter. She was the reason why we were at this event. She was performing as a circus act and contortionist. My cute little thing. She was amazing. I cannot tell a lie. I have to admit, I was ready to get my hair down by the end of the evening. It was comfortable for about the first half. And by the second half, I was ready to yank every little pin out of my head. Remember, I have a super sensitive head, so I knew it was a style I was only gonna be able to keep up for a few hours. Overall, I was really pleased with the style and how it turned out. I loved it in pictures and felt comfortable with it out and about. I felt like I really fit the part of a 1920s flapper girl. My biggest advice if you go ahead and recreate this style would be to make sure that you have plenty of bobby pins and also take some with you. I did take some and I didn't have to use them, but I was glad I had them. At the very beginning when I had first styled my hair, I had a couple pop out here and there, but it didn't happen after that, but I was prepared in case it did. Have you been invited to any 1920s parties? I hear they're really big this year. Let me know if you're going to try this out. And if you do, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and also the bell so that you get notified when I upload my next video. I upload every Monday and Thursday. Also, come say hi to me on Instagram. Thanks, sunshines. Kingsley's is actually one of set of nonsense catchphrases in the 1920s and early through the period of the flappers, speakeasies, feather boas, and Charleston. Other such phrases, elephants, adenoids, cat's meow, ants' pants, tiger spots, bullfrog's beard, elephant's instep, caterpillar's kimono, turtle's neck. I like cat's meow. Are you going to use that one tonight? I'm going to try to use it just a couple. <laughs>